It's a big night for Class B basketball. Some consequential matchups, including in Region 7. Beulah entering the night 3-0 and in the region with the best record, and Trinity at 3-1, but only 4-4 four four overall in the season. This one in Beulah, the Miners and the Titans. First quarter action. Kinsey Zuroff at the top. Loses the ball, but somehow gets the pass off to Alyssa or Allison Wackler for the jumper. And that's how you draw it up. Trinity inbounding now. They go straight to the NDSU commit, Abby Kubis, who swishes the corner three. But the matchup to watch all night was Harris Bucamp to Kubis. Bucamp and the ball fake and the lay in. Tough there. 69 45, Beulah with the win. Less than 10 miles down the road, the Hazen Bison hosting. Richardson Taylor, early first quarter. Raiders work inside to Easton Gebhardt, and she gets the turnaround jumper to fall for two. Bison working inside now. Look at the pass from Paige Earhart to Eliza Herrick for the bucket. The Bison defense working hard too. Earhart getting the steal, taking it coast to coast in the lay in and the foul. Hazen ends up winning by 21. Elsewhere, Hedinger Scranton takes care of business on the road 48-22 over Kildeer. And a cross-region game between Mott Regent and New Salem Allmott goes the way of the wildfire 58-35. Moving north to Region 6, and how about the Glenburn Panthers who had a great start this year, 8-0 with big wins. Another tough test with 8-1 R Redeemers coming to town. Let's go to the home of the Panthers. And we're going to go straight to the fourth quarter of this one. Panthers' Nor Lorelei McIver. Drives and she kicks it to wide open. McKenna rolling. And that three ball is good. Banks it in. Nice shot there later. The Knights swinging the ball. The quick passing finds Meadow Roberts in the corner. And the three is up and good. Knights down just five. The Panthers, Nadia Post looking to end it here to Denea or to Deanna Heinze. And she drives and floats it. And the foul. Glenbird goes on to win 63-54. How about at Nedros hosting West Hope Newburgh? Highlights from a good ending in this one. West Hope Newburgh holding a five point lead in the fourth quarter. A fight for the rebound. How about this catch and shot over through two defenders for the three ball? Hard to tell whose number was who there, but 55 47. But Nedros coming back with a wide open shot of their own. And a quick answer to pull within five. But next off of a Cardinals turnover, looking to this deep pass to get behind the defense. Not ch no chance stopping the lay in on the other end, and it's West Hope Newburgh who wins 66 58 on the road. How about Surrey hosting Berthold? First quarter action Mustangs getting it to Amanda Severson to Salem Kip Klimple, who is there and cleans it up on the rebound and the putback. And now the Bombers finding a cut and cutting Tegan Anderson. Nice lay in over the defender there, and the Bombers on the board. Leader the Mustangs pushing the break and they find a wide open Harley Dickman for two of her nine points of the night. Surrey wins 41 36 in that one. Bishop Ryan beats South Prairie 42 23. Other Region 6 scores Rugby beats Drake Animus and Velva with a big win over TGU. How about Region 5? There are some boys' games on the night, including teams looking to turn it around like Washburn and Center Stanton. These two teams in a tight one in the fourth quarter. Wildcats trail by seven. Darren Saylor. With some timely defense, gets the steal and takes it all the way, cutting the lead to five. Just a few possessions later, Washburn swinging it around, finding a Tyler Colzer wide open under the basket for two. But it is Washburn that ends up winning a close one by eight. Other Region 5 action will wing boys with a four point win at max. And the national championship right now, 52 24, Alabama leading Ohio State. So not everything going the way of Ohio, but hey, you got your Browns win, like That's we talked right. about. <laughs> <I said. laughs>